Hello everyone, this is Tasman109, and this is Quibland. Yet another Flash game that was dear to my childhood. It's a simple platformer where you just have to get through the end of each screen and you fight a couple bosses along the way. Simple game, but gosh darn it, was this fun for me. You press down to attack, by the way. And we want to collect this stuff, and these are bad things, and these are enemies. Here's what the game looks like. There are some passwords along the way. And yeah, this is an example of when you should be jumping. Wait for spike blocks to hit before going through. And there we go. And yes, this has Metal Harbor from Sonic Adventure 2. So let's just go, let's just go and play. I loved playing this game back in the day. It also had a fun little sequel that I really enjoyed too. If we get hit, we'll be sent back to the left side of the screen. So let's just try not to get hit by anything. We have two lies. If we lose both of them, that's game over. I didn't see that. Oh, hang on. Maybe I should be making the window larger. Or maybe I'm not supposed to see that one coming at all. Anyways, we can just spam like this. Oh, we got a password. That's good. And here's the health potion. Yay! So this was just another one of those random games that I liked playing on the internet when I was just a little boy. And I had so much fun with this one, I'm gonna be an idiot and get those. I think I'll be fine, this this game isn't too hard. I at least think it's a little easier than its sequel, which is a little more complex than this one. Oh, we're at the mini boss, Metal Guardian. All right, so this guy follows a basic pattern. Let's just see if I remember it. He'll come here and swing the sword, so we just want to stay here for a bit. Then we can get a couple hits in, get away. Let's wait for him to shoot his gun, and okay. It's probably just best to attack him here. This is this is all he does, so you just wait till he uses his sword, hit him in the head a bit, just don't get hit afterwards. Okay, you want to wait till he comes here. Oh, I got hit! Ah, that, that stinks. So yeah, just jump up here on the second blast, and this is a waiting game. It, it's a simple boss, whatever. It's, it's easy, though. Very basic pattern. Stay here until he uses his wooden sword, then jump up and hit him. Then just drop down here when he shoots his gun the first time, jump up the second time. And repeat the pattern. Very simple, very basic. And after this, we're already halfway through the game. This is a very small game, but I, I just had a lot of fun with this. It was just one of those simple games to pass some time away. Anyways, we are halfway through the game, and see? Now we have, um, spiky horn dudes. And I need health. Ooh, an extra life! These will just go down when we pass them. The ones that don't have a timer counter on them. See? But they don't move too fast at least. I I wanted I wanted them. I should have just waited. Oh There we go. That was actually a slightly tough screen. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have to jump over this guy. Ugh! No! I need the potion! Oh good. I almost lost a life! This is numbered and labeled impossible, but I don't think so. Kill horn guy, yay! All right, we got. We want to thwomp trick this thing. I think. Yeah, that was gonna be hard to do without taking damage. Hey, a health potion! I want. Ow! Go. There we go. Ooh, that's, that's tight. That is tight. There we go. Hey, another health potion. How nice. I don't think score really does anything, but it, 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 I'm just gonna get them. Get the goodies. So yeah, the second half is a fair bit tougher, but not impossible. I hate how you can't get some of these monies without, you know, taking da fall damage. There. 
Alright, simple enough to time. Alright, here we are. Final boss time already. <laughs> Iron Amphibigroth. Warning, don't hit lower jaw. Okay, so this guy should also follow a pattern. So he's going to send his fists out. We want to be here. Then we want to be here. Just stay down here and get some hits in on the lower jaw. Oh gosh. And then go there and move away before the jaw comes. Okay, then we have to jump over the fist there and stay down here. And then I think it just repeats from here. Oh, not quite. Alright, now it's gonna repeat. So, that's the entire fight. Honestly, if you just kept your lives at this point, this is gonna be really easy. Look at this. And I don't think he has a second phase, so we're actually done after this. This is the hardest part, but I dodged it! Nice! All right, there. He's he's almost dead. This game's even shorter than I remember it. It's only been about six minutes. And I spent some of that time just on the instructions. Uh, that that's quite bland. That is a game of my childhood. <laughs> you won. I did it. I saved Quibland. Now I just have to wait till the evil comes back the next time. I'm not going to play the sequel right now. I, I just wanted to... Should I, should I... I mean, this was only not even seven minutes. That's really short. You know what? You know what? Hang on. J just just let me get out the second game. I, the second game probably won't be too long either. We'll, we'll just throw in both games. Why not? Oh, look, it's already showing. Perfect. Let's go and play some more Quibland. This is the sequel. I want to make my screen a little bigger, I think. Yeah, just let me extend my window here. There. All right, so... Yeah. Now we hit space to attack. And we have a few enemies here. And goodies! Okay, there. Let's just get into the game. This one is a fair bit bigger. <coughs> Anyways, we can hit that for some extra points. We want to hit this guy from behind. Our weapon isn't the best right now, as you can see. It actually takes multiple hits to kill an enemy right now. So, yeah, we actually want to be a little careful. This guy has spikes, so that's bad. All right, let's take the health. The score is constantly draining as we go through, and this is actually segmented by multiple levels. So there's actually a few passwords to go around. I want this. There's an extra life over there. We're, we're definitely gonna want extra life. Don't worry, we'll eventually get a better weapon. We just have to wait until then. Oh gosh, ow! I stepped on his spiky hair. There we go. Uh, is it, is it actually boss time already? Yeah, it is! It's time to fight Rangabots. We have to hit his weak spot over there. Like in Quibland 1, the bosses follow a base pattern that we just have to memorize. By the way, this boss music is from East 2 and was my introduction to this boss theme. I remember hearing this later on when watching a video of Ethan, and I was like, why does this music sound familiar? And lo and behold, look at that. Oh, no, no, I have until that foot goes down to hit him there, and I think the boss repeats from here. Yeah, so we kind of just have to wait until then. He's really big, though. The bosses are a lot larger in this game. But he looks kind of cute, honestly. Alright, so we're just gonna wait until he makes a little stare for us. Now let's get some hits in. Okay, get off. I don't want to die. Lives are finite. So yeah, this is a very easy boss. Oh, 
Oh, I really shouldn't do that. What am I thinking? <laughs> so once this rises up, I should be able to get about six hits, like so. Ah, he's so close. All right, we'll just have to wait a little bit. Look at how big he is. He's so big. All right, here we go. We're going to finish the boss. So, yeah, I played this one in Lost Kid, too, and this one was for sure harder. It's also longer. I think we can just wait for it to race this time. Yeah, there we go. Death animation! It's not much of a death animation, but whatever. Anyways, we got a sword. Now we can do multiple hits. See? Look at this. It's cool. Oh, shoot. Our health doesn't refill after a level. We still have to get a health pickup. So, yeah, this is kind of like a cool sequel. It, it adds quite a bit. And it has more music. All right, that was the quick look. Cookies! Where are the cookies? I want cookies. Ow. I got hurt. Hey, look, an extra life. These levels are really short. What the heck? Oh, it's time to find the next boss already. The Metal Guardian has returned, and he starts with a gun. I don't actually remember his movement pattern here. Oh, gosh. All oh, right, his weak spot's on the back. That's right. Whoa! <laughs> okay. I don't actually remember the pattern here. Let's get down. That's why. Ah, oh, gosh. I'm almost dead. Ah! What's he gonna do? Jump up! Ah! I haven't lost my life yet! <laughs> but I'm really close! Ah! No! <laughs> okay! Stay away, he's gonna swing his sword. I lost a life, shoot! I'm upset. Oh, wait! Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna swing his sword. So let's stay up here this time. And jump. Oh, I still got hit! Okay, so yeah, he's definitely a lot harder than he was in the first game. That is a seriously massive hitbox. Are you joking? Alright, well, he doesn't have that much health left. And we still have three lives at least. That's a good amount of lives to have right now. Oh, there's a second phase! Okay, well, I'm just gonna wait here, I guess. Sound cue? I messed it up. No, he's still alive! I don't wanna die again! Darn it, this is hard! Ah! Yes! Got him! Okay! That was actually kind of tense. What? That hit me? Well, okay, that that's half of the game so far. I lost two lives in that boss. Okay, we're not going to be able to kill him. Screw that. Um, that's this. The levels are really short. I thought they were a little longer than this. The bosses are definitely lengthier, that's for sure. And the Metal Guardian was actually pretty darn fun. It's kind of fun that I don't remember how everything works anymore. Oh, ah. Uh, 
I don't know if that's worth it. Is it? Oh, that's a fall damage is really nasty. I want my life back. Anyways, we're up to boss three, I think. Yep. Fiskenbot. I don't even remember what happens in this fight. Um. Where are you? Ah! You're gonna land here, aren't you? Oh, come on! I'm missing the weak spots all the time! I'm taking so much help! Damage. Where are you? Ah! Alright, alright. Uh, let's wait here? Okay. The sword does do a lot of damage, at least. Oh, shoot. Ow! This is hard. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna lose this life, too. This game's actually kind of hard. What the heck? No! I'm gonna hide here. Well, that's a viable strat. But I've got one life left. And very little health. I... I am not in a good position here. You take a lot of hits, mister. I NEED THAT! Whew! Alright, now if I could just get another life, I remember the final boss actually being kinda hard. And so far this game's been definitely giving me more hassle than the first game. Cause the first game actually isn't hard. But I've kind of been having difficulties with this one. <gasps> EXTRA LIFE! GIMME 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 GIMME! This is probably the last one in the entire game. Hey, th there's there's more level. Wow. Okay. Maybe this one will give me some time to gain a little extra stuff like this. I'm going to save that health pickup for now. Ow. I want to go back and get that health pick up now. How did I not get hurt by that spike block that I stepped on? <laughs> there we go. Oops, I clicked out of the screen and accidentally stupid mouse pad. Wait! Alright. There we go. From hell. Oh! Here we are! Black Amphibograph! Okay. Oh no! Whoa. Alright, well, we're getting a lot of damage in. Ow. And I'm taking a lot of damage too, speaking of! I'm gonna stay down here quick. Whoa. No! Uh, there goes that life. Ow. Oh, sweet! Got a lot of damage in there. Alright, but now it has another form. Another phase. 
<laughs> the real fight begins now. Do not damage. We must reach that. Amphibograph form two. Ow! Okay. Oof. Hey, an extra life. I could use that. Okay, you know what? I do want I do want that health before I lose this life. There we go. Ow! Get in the middle. There we go. Get on. There we go. Oh shoot. Ow! Ow! Okay, okay, halfway down, halfway down, that's good. Oh gosh, that's not good. Ow! Whoa! What the actual heck? It's got a second phase in the second form. I don't know how to avoid that. Oh gosh. Okay, what what do I do here? I don't know. I don't know how to avoid that. I'm down to my last life. Oh gosh, this is kind of scary. Alright, very good. I avoided some of that. Oh, I can't last much longer! Oh! No, I'm not gonna make it! I didn't make it. Alright, let's see if I remember the password. Final showdown. Uh, the final showdown? Was it... Were there... Oh! What was it? Oh, what the heck? I don't remember. No, don't make me do the whole game over again, please. Is there... Okay, there is, there is. Final standoff, that's what it was. Oh my gosh, put it in right! What? I'm starting to think... The password system doesn't even work. There we go! Guess you got putting it in right the first time. Let's try this again! Unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna have much of a score. Yeah, I don't have a score anymore. Oh well, I tried. Alright. Ow. 
And this actually is a pretty hard final boss. I'm going to admit that right now. It, it is pretty hard. Ah, oh, shoot. It immediately went into the second phase. I don't know how to avoid that. I really don't. All right, all right, I'll probably make it. Dang, that didn't go well at all. I have no idea. I have no idea. Come on! Yes! Ooh, that is actually a hard boss. Whoa. Well, there. I think... I think that... I think this game definitely made the video quite length worthy. So, those are the Quiet Plan games. Those were two games from my childhood. The final boss is actually still hard. I am surprised. So, I hope you enjoyed this little excursion. I know I did. This was a fun blast from the past. Until next video, though, this has been Tales of 109, and have a nice day.